The Maldives is home to one of the best, if not the best, islands in the world. It's an archipelago country located on the Indian subcontinent of Asia. Warm crystal clear waters, soft white sand beaches, and exclusive resorts and spas await guests who wish for a luxury getaway. Join Vucation as we explore the best things to do in the Maldives. Go parasailing. This adrenaline-filled activity takes you on a cruise in midair over the region's immense lakes. It also gives you a breathtaking perspective on the island where you'll be enjoying the activity. Whether you prefer to fly solo or team up with other tourists for an amazing experience is up to you. Malay Local Market The Maldives is abundant in high-quality, locally grown food products, including vegetables and fruits. In contrast to a regular marketplace, the setting of the Malay Local Market provides a stress-free shopping experience. The colorful and appealing farm produce that adorns this area is a sight to behold. Even a stroll through the market can be a pleasurable experience. Villa'a Private Island This private island is a perfect choice for anyone looking for a tropical getaway. It offers a range of excellent lodging alternatives including the Sunrise Water Pool Villa, the Beach Pool Villa, the Beach Pool House, and the Ocean Pool House. It also features a spa where guests can relax while taking in the tropical scenery, as well as a golf course where they can keep their golfing abilities sharp. There's never a dull moment here as guests can participate in a variety of water activities, including jet skiing, wakeboarding, and stand-up paddleboarding. Shangri-La's Vilingili Resort and Spa This luxurious resort and spa is on the island of Vilingili and is surrounded by tropical flora and white sand beaches. The Shangri-La Resort and Spa, like most resorts in the Maldives, has a golf course, spa, and a variety of water sports. Visitors can choose to stay in one of the jungle villas and enjoy the lush greenery or in one of the ocean villas and enjoy the rich view of the turquoise waters. It's also the only resort in the Sinu Atoll, so you can expect nothing but a five-star resort experience. Explore the capital town. Malé, the Maldives' capital, is one of the world's smallest capital cities but one of the most populous. Despite this, the 3.2-square-mile metropolis has plenty to show visitors and the rest of the globe. The city is home to an incredible local and fish market, a national museum, and Republic Square, where visitors can unwind and take in the picturesque view of the lake. The city is also packed with colorful skyscrapers and historic mosques. Additionally, you can visit the Old Friday Mosque and Artificial Beach to get an up-close experience with indigenous people and their culture. Istuhu Island Istuhu Island is one of the Maldives' unique tourist destinations. Located in the southern section of the capital city, the island is rich in pre-Islamic Buddhist heritage. This distinguishes it from the other Maldives islands. The island is historically significant to the Maldivians. Visitors will discover remnants of the Maldives from their Buddhist past on the island. Hufavin Fushi Underwater Spa and Resort This is one of the Maldives' most luxurious resorts and spas. It's flanked on both sides by beautiful beaches and lush foliage. There are stunning villas in the resort that give breathtaking views of the turquoise ocean and the picturesque coastline. Unlike any other resort in the Maldives, this resort features an underwater spa where guests can relax while viewing a variety of aquatic species. On the usual front, it features a swimming pool, a gym, a variety of water sport activities and restaurants that serve local and international cuisines. Fuamulaku Island Although this is not a tourist zone, it is possible to get a sense of the island with a special permit and a tour guide. Tundi Beach is located on the island and offers guests the opportunity to pamper their feet in the fine white sand. Due to the island's fertility, portions of it are utilized to grow a variety of vegetables and fruits. Fruits like oranges, mangoes, and pineapples are constantly plentiful on the island. You're welcome to visit the island at any time, provided you obtain a permit. But the ideal time to visit would be between December and April during the island's dry season. Before we tell you more about the Maldives, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Adaran Club Ranalhi Located to the south of Malé in the Ka'afu Atoll, Adaran Club Ranalhi has one of the best hotels in the Maldives. It provides an awesome accommodation experience with its standard rooms and water bungalow. The 96 standard rooms come with modern decor, while the 34 water bungalows come with everything the standard rooms offer, including a sun deck, etc. This facility has amenities like spa services, bars, a main restaurant, and more. There's a long list of water sports guests can engage in. Madu Beach This is one of the Maldives' many beaches. It's on the uninhabited island of Kuda Finolhu. Because it's uninhabitable, visitors can only go on day trips there. 
The beach features gorgeous white sand, crystal blue waves, and lush flora. It's ideal for picnics and has lovely walking routes for exploration. Fulhadhu Beach This beach is located on Fulhadhu Island. With only about 250 people residing in the eastern part of the island, it's considered nearly uninhabited. The Fulhadu beach, like many others in the Maldives, has white sands, lush vegetation, and turquoise waters. It's perfect for guests who want a remote getaway. Despite its small population, the island has a number of rural shops and a medical facility. Tsunami Monument The Tsunami Monument is one of the many historical monuments in the Maldives. It was built in memory of those who lost their lives during the tsunami that occurred in 2004. The monument is made up of vertical iron rods with steel balls surrounding them in an upward design. The names of the victims are also engraved on the memorial. Aside from its historical significance, the nearby beach provides a good relaxing spot. Local cuisines and beverages are also served there, making it a good place to get a taste of the Maldivian culture. Secret Paradise Secret Paradise is a haven for everyone interested in learning about the simple lives of the indigenous people. It's located on Hulhumale Island, one of the man-made islands in the Maldives. Secret Paradise guarantees an absolute experience of the Maldivian culture and tradition. Guests can go up on the roofs and enjoy the star-filled night sky. Known for their hospitality, the indigenous people there often invite guests to a dining experience in their homes. Malay Fish Market Visiting the fish market is another way to meet the Maldivians as they go about their hustle. Located in the capital city and west of Republic Square, the fish market is alive any hour of the day. Given that one of the main occupations in the region is fishing, it shouldn't come as a surprise that fish abound in the Maldives. Tuna is the most popular fish in the region and forms an integral part of their delicacies. Artificial Beach Artificial Beach is a man-made beach located on the eastern side of the capital city. It's also the only swimmable beach in the capital, making it a favorite among locals. On any given day, one is likely to find more locals than foreigners on the beach. Due to the Islamic beliefs of the region, locals and visitors alike are prohibited from wearing speedos and bikinis as they are considered inappropriate. The beach is also a hosting ground for entertaining and cultural activities. There's also a plethora of bars, pubs, and food joints to enjoy Maldivian cuisine and drinks. Take a dive to the Maldive Victory the Maldive Victory is a 100-meter-long cargo ship that sank after colliding against the reef of Hulhule Island in 1981. What was a tragedy has now become a sight to behold in the marine world. The reef has now become a dive site and attracts scuba enthusiasts thanks to its charming and splendid marine life of the island. Visitors to the Maldive Victory have attested to its beauty all year round. Though it's safe for beginners, be sure to go with a diving expert as the current can be dangerous at certain times. Go scuba diving! When it comes to sightseeing activities in the Maldives, snorkeling and scuba diving are two of the most enjoyable. The turquoise seas of the Maldives, along with an abundance of marine life, make it a fantastic destination for scuba and snorkeling. Many resorts feature shallow reefs, where guests can have a refreshing swim, while also taking in the breathtaking views of aquatic life. Some resorts also organize scuba diving and snorkeling excursions, allowing both experienced and novice divers to explore the underwater world. The Maldives has a vibrant aquatic life, so you're likely to see butterfly fish, clownfish, angelfish, parrotfish, and a variety of other breeds while snorkeling or diving. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in the Maldives? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.